believe the FISA warrant process was abused. And the reason we want a special counsel is I think crimes may have been committed. I want somebody to look at how the FBI FISA warrant application uh, was handled, just like Mueller's looking at the Trump campaign. The inspector general is independent. He just uh, needs some help. We'll give him the tools to do it because they cannot be counted on to investigate themselves. I mean, it's kind of common sense. The FBI and the Department of Justice were corrupt, in my view, and the entire FISA warrant application process was abused. Well, hours after that interview here on Special Report and the call for a special counsel, uh, some breaking news uh, first uncovered by Molly Hemingway at The Federalist uh, about uh, an interesting uh, set of text messages uh, between some figures that we've been following for some time. Uh, July 2016, the FBI opens its Russia investigation, and text messages indicate the FBI agent Peter Strzok and FBI lawyer Lisa Page, they were having an affair. Uh, they were talking about a relationship Peter Strzok had with a federal judge, uh, Judge Contreras. And in this, it ends up that this is the federal judge who would later handle the prosecution of the former National Security Advisor Mike Flynn, and it also turns out he sits on the secret FISA surveillance court. Now, the text message, Lisa Page, Rudy is on the FISC. Did you know that? That's the FISA court. I did. We talked about it before and after. I need to get together with him. He said he's gotten a month or two ago. He gotten on a month or two ago at a graduation party we both were at. She, not sure who she is, brought up a good point about being circumcised and talking to him in terms of not placing him into a situation where he'd have to recuse himself. I can't imagine either one of you could talk about anything in detail meaningful enough to warrant recusal. Well, struck, really, Rudy? I'm in charge of espionage for the FBI. Any espionage FISA comes before him, what should he do, given his friend oversees them? Standards for recusal are quite high. I just don't think this poses an actual conflict. Struck says he's super thoughtful and rigorous about ethics and conflicts. M, not sure who M is, suggested a social setting with others would probably be better than a one-on-one -on -one meeting. I'm sorry, I'm just going to have to invite you to that cocktail party, have to come up with some other work ple people to cover for action. Lisa Page, why more? Six is a perfectly fine dinner party. We don't know where that goes, but it raises all kinds of questions about what they were trying to do with a FISA judge and, and motives behind all of this. Let's bring in our panel. Byron York, chief political correspondent of the Washington Examiner. David Cantonese, senior politics writer for the U.S. News and World Report. And Jason Riley, Wall Street Journal columnist and senior fellow at the Manhattan Institute. Byron, your take on all of this and how big a deal or not big a deal it is. Well, it could be a big deal. One of the mysterious uh, events of this whole affair was when uh, Michael Flynn pled guilty on November of 30 last year. The original judge who accepted that guilty plea a few days later is off the case. We don't know if he removed himself or if he was removed, but we don't know. That's the judge we're talking about here. Also, We should also point out that Peter Strzok is the FBI agent who interviews Michael Flynn. And everything concerning Peter Strzok is a big deal because of his centrality in the whole Trump-Russia affair. He is the guy who interviewed um, uh, Flynn. And Contreras, the judge, was on the FISA court. We all heard a lot about the FISA court, which repeatedly um, uh, accepted or approved a, a search warrant for uh, for Carter Page, uh, so wondering what's going on there. And the, the other big thing, one last big thing is, the Justice Department apparently turned over these texts uh, a few months ago, but that the parts we're talking about were redacted. And some of the staffers went back to the Justice Department and saw a less redacted version of that, and now we have it. So the question is, what was up with the Justice Department originally? Yeah, go ahead. You have the judge who accepted Flynn's guilty plea um, apparently had a personal relationship with the FBI agents that interrogated him. Moreover, from these text messages, it looks like those agents wanted to exploit that relationship in this case. What it tells me, Brett, ultimately, these text messages, is that you not only had people at the FBI who were opposed to a Trump presidency, you had people at the FBI who were actively plotting against a Trump presidency, and that so, seems to cross the line. So we don't know what we don't know. We've said that with the Mueller investigation as well. But listening to Senators Grassley and Graham last night, they know more than they are saying with these list of questions in this letter calling for a special counsel. You add this to what the concerns are that they list, and it seems like maybe it's more likely that one comes about. It could, but I think 
in, in going back and looking at this, I think the most troubling part was to your point that they didn't share it all with Congress. There was there was a motive to 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 hide it, and I think that is always the problem uh, with with this cover up. Now, to be fair, with the larger Mueller investigation, this Mr. Sirach was removed. He did take him off the investigation. We also don't know if this has anything to do with the material problem here is that, that or the material charge that Michael Flynn lied right that that's that is the essence of this case that he lied to FBI officers about meetings with foreign officials Here's we don't know if that changes if, the, if this has anything to do with that central charge that's why he's in hot water but had he known Michael Flynn that is that the guy that was investigating him and asking him the questions was conspiring and had this political bias and the judge that he said, I plead guilty to, had the relationship with the guy who asked him the questions. Would he have pled guilty? Good question. I don't, I don't know if he would have pled guilty. Okay. I think that's a, that's a question for Michael Flynn right. as attorney. Now, there's another question here. Andrew McCabe were waiting any minute mm -hmm. on a decision whether the administration, and specifically Jeff Sessions, the attorney general, will fire him hours before uh, he's scheduled to retire to get his pension. Um, Thoughts on that as we get a decision one way or another before Sunday? Well, it shouldn't be ticking down on the clock like this. It doesn't make a lot of sense. But it, it is the case, apparently, that the FBI's Office of Professional Responsibility has recommended taking action against McCabe. This is not just... Now, this is not President Trump on this a tw Twitter President feed. This is not President Trump saying, is... I want his head. This is actually the FBI's Office of Professional Responsibility. And we do have uh, an Inspector General's report coming pretty soon um, about the FBI's handling of the Hillary Clinton email investigation. Which obviously has something in it if it's triggering all of this call for special counsel. Exactly. And all of these people who were involved, we're talking about with Trump Russia, they were also involved in, in the Clinton email investigation. Well, and if they don't move against, if, if this is Attorney General Jeff Sessions' call, if he doesn't move against McCabe ticking down to Sunday, what are President Trump's tweets like Monday morning about his attorney general. We let know me, he's already frustrated with Jeff Sessions. Let me play this soundbite that I thought was fascinating from Jonathan Turley last night with Martha about McCabe and this whether he's going to get fired ahead of this retirement or not. The real strange thing about all of this is that McCabe so far has been worried more about pensions than prison. That's not the choice that was given by to Michael Flynn. Michael Flynn, uh, if you recall, was charged with false statements, even though Comey's investigators reportedly believed that Flynn didn't intend to mislead them. That's not apparently the conclusion of the inspector general with regard to McCabe. I think he's right. Uh, the, the, these law enforcement officials are not above the law. If you or I lied to an FBI investigator, there would be consequences. If McCabe lied, there should be consequences. How would, how would McCabe treat us if we lied to his agency? Well, we're going to follow it, and so far, nothing. Um, no word on anything, whether there's moves in the administration. Um, we've got you covered here.